Good morning, this is Stephen. I'm making this quick intro to this next video because something quite unusual happened yesterday. I was invited to go on a dig to join the Yorkshire searchers on a piece of land, a newly acquired piece of land they've got near York. And I went along with the intent and the invitation by Stuart, the organiser, to make a video for them to show what it's like to dig with the Yorkshire searchers. But the occurrences yesterday were so unusual that I didn't really include in this next bit of film coming up much of my own finds because it soon became evident that something unusual was taking place. There were groups of people constantly huddled around each other showing um, their finds and whilst I caught some of this on camera in the distance I wasn't fully aware of what was going on. Once I was aware of what's going on, I just simply stopped filming my own digs and my finds to show you, because it was more interesting to show you what was going on. Was this a possible scattered hoard on a 60 acre permission? Who knows? What is evident is that in the past, this field, we believe, was a medieval marketplace. So that might explain it too. But I just want to show you what took place and at the end of the video, when you think it's all finished, I've just added a montage of all uh, the hammered coins that were found, or at least as many as were sent to me. Um, but please enjoy. It was a remarkable day yesterday. Good morning, my name is Stephen and I'm the man in a hat. Today is Sunday the 15th of February and I'm in a little place near York today in the north of England, detecting with the Yorkshire Searchers. Join me after this. First dig, I've just brought out a Georgian sixpence. First signal. There's also been a cartwheel penny in the first five minutes, so I'm hoping there's going to be some really good finds to show you today. Well, second signal, and it's really, really lovely, soft, loamy soil. And I'm bringing out a Georgian penny. Good start for the first five minutes. That's blowing my eardrums off. That's definitely in the plug. No mistaking. It's a little buckle. What's this? Oh, lovely. I haven't found one of those for a long while. Let's see. Pocket watch winder. Get that better baby on the back of my glove. There. Coil has just picked up this target and the depth indicator on the horseshoe on the dance remote tells me that it's not very deep. So I'm just going to use my pro pointer first. I'll just use my little hand tool and see what, oh, there it is. Look at that. That's a lovely little buckle. Well, in my early days, I was always finding loads of these and I thought I'd got rid of the problem. But I'm finding the chains again. Well, I've had uh, about four or five coins now in that huge, great chain. I th as I said, I thought I'd got rid of the chains by now. I thought I was experienced enough to miss them. And some guy laughing at me is actually Stuart, the organiser, <laughs> finding chains. But um, Stuart has been running the Yorkshire searches now for quite some time. And um, it's a very big, popular group here in Yorkshire. And uh, people would like to know, probably, Stuart, is why they should come and dig with the Yorkshire searches. Why should they come and dig with the Yorkshire searches? Well, we're an organised group and we get hammers like that. <laughs> Look at that. James the First? Yeah. That's huge. There have been quite a few found actually at the same area. We're just trying to find out who's found them. So, in the first half an hour, an hour, there's been several of those hammers come up in a corner just over there. And people have been putting them in the pocket and walking off, not just staying there searching the area. So Stuart's trying to find out who they all are to get a picture and stuff of the coins. So that's one of the reasons you should join the Yorkshire searchers 
It's a well-organised group, quality land, and even though Yorkshire Search has been going now for a very long time, there's always some really good stuff to find. Well, the coil tells me this 82 sticker is in the hole. I've not checked yet with a pinpointer. I'm nearly onto it, I think. I think that's a coin. Sounds like a coin. Yep, here we go. What's that? Ooh, lovely. I'm just going to go back now and have a bite of lunch. And you already see here they've got uh, sanitising gel. Scrap goes in a bucket. Very well organised indeed. Right, lunch break is over. I'm going to try now and see what I can find this afternoon. Solid gold watch wine had just come up. And several very, very big hammers. Just look at the size of that. Ah, oh, the gold watch winder. Yeah. Whoa. That's a beauty. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. I think that's the only gold winder I've ever seen. I've never seen a gold watch winder ever. There's so much detail on that, isn't there? Yeah. It? Oh, that's wonderful. Well done on that. See, it's your first and only ever gold watch yeah. winder. Do you want a, do you want a little thing that hammered that I found? Saltino. Yeah. That's the second one I've seen. A friend of mine found one. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm. Have you got? Oh, oh, Harold, brilliant. The There's some really good finds coming out today. Oh, yeah. What else? Fantastic. Ooh, on the table. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. beautiful, yeah. Very iffy signal. Oh, I'll go dig it first. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's what you call a buckle. Wow, well, yes. <laughs> Is that a cook quarter, do you think? Yeah, it's a cook quarter. Definitely. Size of that. Look at that, two more huge hammers just come up. I must have just walked over. Hang on, that was about half an ounce. <laughs> half an ounce of silver there. Wow, look at the size of that. That must be two inches across. Yeah, that's got a big arse. What? What is that? Charles the first with Saturn arse. Wow. We were taking photographs of Hamlet's all the way across Philkit trying to get to it. I've all, took about another eight of these big ones. There's a silver denarius just come out, another nice one, silver denarius. Good, oh, I'm fed up with him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they are really lovely. But that's the biggest hammer I've ever seen. Well, if you look when I put on me about the dig, I actually probably dig think I actually think this 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 is what medieval medieval uh, market used to be. In. Yeah. And this it's probably telling us that it probably is. Like big hammers would be. I bet they weren't very deep, were they? No. No. Everything I found has been in the first four inches, five inches. Yeah. But there's people everywhere getting big hammers now. There's no I've only seen two small ones that rest of eight big hammers. Yeah. He's lying. This person's <laughs> not getting a big hammer. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep trying. Well, thank you for showing me those, Stuart. Mm. That's a belt of that, isn't it? My heart just skipped a beat because I thought I just got my first gold. It's a button. But the excitement was wonderful, just for about three seconds. Well, all these people have got their heads down, they're really seriously quiet because there's so many hammers coming out here, they don't want to miss them. Me too, but sadly in the end of my coil, yeah. But John has just shown me this lovely spindle wall that he's had up. And um, something, he's doing something I wouldn't do. <laughs> that's a lovely little hammer he's got there. Now look at that tiny hammer compared to that great big Charles I crown. But there were so many hammers coming out of here. It just shows difference on uh, do stunt it. Yeah, there's your spindle wall back. Don't lose that, that's a lovely one. Thanks a lot. The farmer is moving all the cattle into the field we've been in. We're changing fields into there. But there's been so many coins found, I just cannot believe how many. I've never seen so many on one day before. But then again, there are a lot of people and it's virgin land. So.
Now many of you guys will remember Alex from a couple of other videos in the summer of 2014 where he found some hammered and he's just called me over to say he's found another hammered. Everyone's finding hammered today apart from me. It's a beauty as well. I'm getting to see them all. They're all big off here aren't they? It's me, it's James the first. Lovely hammered, really, really lovely that one. And there's been at least 25 or 30 of these out today, and I can't find one. I think one guy found three in one hole. How lucky is that? Another James the first. There's six come off down here so far though. That's amazing how many coins are coming off here. You can tell that's not been detected before, can't you? No, there's up to a 30 hammers what I know of so far, easy 30, and I still... 30? Another 6, I've got to get a photograph of you when I come back with camera. Yeah. So, and uh, Jez just got to cut half now. Well, I've no idea how many hammers have been found today in total. Uh, Stuart's going to let me know tonight. So, if he tells me in time, I can let you know, and hopefully get a photograph of a few more of them we've missed today. It's been a really good day digging with the Yorkshire searchers. Um, I'll definitely be digging with this group again. They're a friendly bunch, they're a nice bunch. They want to cooperate too, which means they want to show you what they've found um, so they can be put on video and recorded. So I know it's been a longer video than normal, but there's been a lot going on today. There's been a lot to bring you, to show you. And um, I've really enjoyed it. So if you have too, why not give a thumbs up? Look up the Yorkshire searchers if you're ever in Yorkshire. I'll put a link in the, in the descriptions. You can find them and go and have a look at their forum. And you could come too. So do subscribe and I'll keep you informed with what's coming up and where you can get a dig with me or the Yorkshire searchers in the future. And thanks for watching. Catch you later.